Hi, my name is Lorraine with Crafty Therapy by L. Today I am using my Easy Bow Maker and I'm going to be making a beautiful, fun Christmas bow that you can put on a wreath that you might have. These look great on a plain burlap wreath or a greenery wreath or just an old wreath that you feel needs a little sprucing up. They are also great to put on lanterns, mailboxes, banisters. I am using this adorable gingerbread candy ribbon. It's got a lot of fun pattern on it. Classic red and green for Christmas. It's got a little bit of shimmer on all of the images. Super cute, nice quality. I'm using my Easy Bow Maker. This will be in my Etsy shop later on today after I take some pictures of it. You can check out my other bows, wreaths, and supplies that I have in my shop all year long. So I've done three loops at about just a little shy of six inches on each side. Now I'm going to add my next ribbon, another two and a half inch ribbon. I love using the Easy Bow Maker. I find it's the easiest bow maker to use. I do have some, actually most of the other ones I do have. Um, I just always come back to this one. I use this almost daily to make bows. As you can see, when I put it in, I'm measuring it up. I'm coming a little bit shorter than the last set of loops. You need to twist the middle so that your pattern side stays up. So you give it a little bit of twist. Measure up your loops. And then cut them on the bottom. I dovetail my ends for that nice finished look. Fold it over. So I have three, two, three loops, two loops. Now I'm going to bring in my one and a half inch ribbon. I'm going to use a nice dark green solid that ties in all of the greens of the two ribbons. Coming in a little bit shorter than my last set of ribbons. This is going to be just one loop of this solid green. I have ribbon sets in my Etsy shop. You can take a look if you're not sure which ribbons coordinate well together, which will make a beautiful wreath or a bow. You can take a look at the my Etsy shop under the bow and ribbon section. Let's take all that guesswork out of, out of it for you. Until you can train your eye to know what to look for. So now I'm bringing in this last ribbon and I'm gonna end with two loops on each side. Coming a little bit shorter than my green. If you're a wreath maker and you like making wreaths but you hate making bows, I also have mystery wreath boxes. So you get five different wreaths 
They'll be all, they'll be very similar to this, just all different seasons, all different colors. As I make videos, I get a nice collection of them and that's how I sell them so that I can keep making videos for you guys without it overflowing in my house. So I have some mystery boxes. They'll all be big and beautiful. I'm sure you'll find a way to use them. They'll be from all seasons. What I'm doing is I'm fluffing out my bow. I'm moving my and spreading out my ribbons. Moving them around so you can see all the patterns underneath. What a beautiful full bow. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my eight inch pipe cleaner. I'm sliding it underneath all the ribbons. I'm coming up the middle. I'm gonna squash it down just a little bit. I locked it into place. Now I'm gonna slowly bring it up and before I completely take it out of the bow maker, I'm locking it a little bit further. And now I'm gonna grab a pipe cleaner. I'll use white. And I'm gonna slowly pick it up. Move the bow maker out of the way. I am sliding the pipe cleaner to the back. And before I completely lock it and tighten everything up, I'm gonna put my pipe cleaner, come on fingers, in the back. And now you cinch it really, really tight. I hope, hopefully you saw that. I'm not sure that was on camera. I'm looking for my what? Normally I would use my wire cutters and I don't see know where they are, but so you just trim that off. Now you take it to the front. I'm holding it by the pipe cleaner. Now I'm going to smooth out all my tails, give it a nice curl, separating them from the middle one by one, both sides. making sure everything is flowing right to the front. You'll take your loops, put your whole hand in it, round it out. This is very easy to do as long as you're using quality wired ribbon. Move your loops into place. You can tug them pretty hard right now because I used a pipe cleaner. There's no way these are moving anywhere. That's why I prefer to use a pipe cleaner over a wire. Okay, there you have it. Big, beautiful, poofy bow with lots of gorgeous ribbon. If you'd like to purchase this bow, you could head to my Etsy shop, Crafty Therapy by L.Etsy.com. This will be in my Etsy shop later on today. And you can also check out my other ribbons, bows, and wreaths that are available. And I have a bunch of personalized gifts also. If you found this helpful, join me Wednesday mornings at 10 a.m. and Sunday evenings around 6.30 to 7.30, depending on what time family dinner and all that is cleaned up. I come out on every Wednesday and Sunday and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, leave them in a comment down below. I do go back and I answer questions for you. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.